Hey guys, this is actually my fourth time making this video. I know that the first time I made the video, I was very, very rude and not accepting of where Magic is currently heading. Now, in case you don't know, Unsleeved Media has a video about the meme, Magic is a lot like sex. Uh, this is a meme that is taking the Magic community by storm. My first few videos were very personal attacks, so I decided not to do that anymore. And I'm just going to read you what they're writing and then make a little bit of commentary on it and why this is bad for our community and what I believe is the lowest point of our community. We have Mana Curves, who says magic is a lot like sex. Men's enjoyment is valued more than a woman's feeling safe. This is retweeted 135 times with 737 likes and 50 free, mostly positive, if not all positive comments. Now, one of the reasons that we don't have many younger members of why Magic is dying is because the younger generation does not want to play Magic. And there's many reasons for that. A, they have choice. They have video games. When I was younger, we didn't have the internet or the internet just came about and we didn't have the first game I played was Mech Warriors. And that was a great game. I was like, wow, look at technology. And we play card games. Playing a card game was not uh, something out of the normal. Now Hearthstone, if you do want to play a card game, you can play online now. Emma, hey baby, what you want to say we blow, di blow this joint and get back to nature. So I had my differences with Emma. Emma is an interesting character. She is the one that reported on Travis and ratted out a private Facebook group. She also reported my videos, and I will make a later... I won my appeal because I made the same, uh, very, very simple argument that I was just reading what she said. So I had to be a little more kosher, if you will, in my videos because she had flagged them all. And it was a little scary to see those strikes, and before you ask, do I have evidence? Yes, they send you an email. So even though the strike is gone, you have the email of the strike. Uh, then we have Manikers. I went in a lot of detail. So one of my videos, which was 10 minutes, I went in a lot of detail about why women in Magic and if these people actually play Magic are... Why they are doing this? So when you say Magic is a lot like having sex, that is a keyword. I do digital marketing. I own my own digital marketing company. Let me explain why that's so important. Because when a child or a younger adult searches for magic to gather, our magic is like a, is a lot like. And they're happy that they're being hated. They're happy they're getting attention because it is good for them. It's good for their brand. So one of the most searched keywords is magic is a lot like Pokemon. Magic is a lot like Yu-Gi-Oh. That's a keyword. If you ask why I write my articles on ntgline.com on really strange writing sometimes, it's because it's based on keywords. That's what I do. I'm a marketer. I own a marketing agency in downtown Houston. We're opening a second office, though. So when a younger child uh, or a young adult is looking for magic, maybe they play Yu-Gi-Oh!, maybe they play Pokemon, maybe they play Weiss or Card Fight Vanguard, Buddy Fight, this is what they're going to find. This is what they're going to find. Not just on Twitter. Twitter is archived. So on Google, on Yahoo, on Bing, on their phones. This is a very poor and destructive thing on our community. I think Unsleeved Media does a very good job thinking how, saying how cringe it is for the current Magic players. But I want to bring up why this is so bad for new Magic players. And when your favorite G-rated celebrities, when female Magic players are saying that, oh, I'm going to get, you know, that Magic is a lot like sex because the men get more enjoyment out of it than the women's safety. So what she's saying is Magic is not safe for women. That is her statement. 
who would want to join? Okay, so I'm imagine a young teen who is female and she's interested in magic. She plays a lot, a lot, little bit of Pokemon. She goes on and says, "Oh, Pokemon's a lot like magic, or magic is a lot like Pokemon." Doesn't matter. Keywords are interchangeable a lot of times. And then suddenly she gets to this tweet because this tweet has been reshared 700 plus times, and there's comments and there's likes and it's trending. And she reads the last sentence of this other female supposed magic player. And we'll get to that part because my biggest pet peeve about MTG finance people is that they don't actually do MTG finance. And it's really simple because I do it. I show you my binders, good and bad. And that's why I did it. I know those binder videos are not popular, but I'm going to say, hey, Rudy shows you his cards. I'm going to show you mine. Let's trend it up. So that way there's no fake people saying that they own a thousand moats and they don't even have a camera. Show it. You own it, you show it. Oh, I also picked up a bunch of Mox Opal, so I'll show that a little later. Uh, apparently over $100, but that's a good, that was a great spec. So uh, one of the things that I want to say is these people are who are the pillars of our community, they are actively destroying the younger generation of our community. The younger generation already has a Nintendo Switch. They have Hearthstone. They have different things they can be doing. They have League of Legends. I didn't have any of that. If I had League of Legends when I grew up, I would not be playing Magic. I will point blank tell you that because who would pick a card game over League of Legends? The Who's younger? The answer is almost nobody because that's currently what the younger generation, Fortnite. You, you look at what's how big those communities are, or even the Pokemon community, look how big that is. Imagine if the Pokemon community decided that they wanted to do a meme called Pokemon is a lot like sex. Nintendo would shut that stuff down so fast that like, you couldn't even like, these people would be banned. Imagine that you are younger and you go to the event and supposedly these people are playing this event, right? And you meet these people and you realize, oh, these are the people who are talking about sex and magic. And you're like 14 or 12. It, it's bad. I mean, they are. And I made this video many times. I just want to come to the point without personal attacks. Because they will report this video. I'm almost certain of it. They are really destroying the game. And they will be retweeted. Wizards of Coast will send them free product. Wizards of Coast will fly these people out. How insane is that? How blanking insane, insane is this? Like, I feel like we are in a twilight zone where people who are actively destroying Magic the Gathering and the future of Magic. Here you have Todd. What if a little kid looks up to Todd and he sees that Todd is making a joke about 69 retweets and prostitution? So if you read the previous, the previous screenshot about spending a lot of money once a month and not being worth it, that's obviously referring to prostitution. So, and then you, you read Wedge, which he talks about unsafe sex, which is not anything anybody should be promoting. And I know what you guys are going to say. I know what you guys are going to say. Well, it's a joke, MTG Lion. It's a joke. You don't get it. It's a joke. Here's what I get in life. When you like someone, the bad things they say are jokes. When you don't like them, those things get you banned for life. So, here we are. I, I just want to conclude by saying one very, very, very important thing about magic. Magic, from the very beginning, people thought it was satanic. Your elementary school teachers didn't like it. I remember my middle school teacher throwing out one of my friend's entire magic collection. And that happened. That's what people thought. You had demonic tutor, you had lots of uh, satanic symbols, right? I mean, people thought it was kind of weird. We moved on from that. We no longer do that anymore. But 
imagine a school teacher, imagine a somebody, an adult, or imagine a parent searching about magic. Their child likes magic. Should I take them to my F and M? And then they read a tweet about how magic is not safe for females. Are they going to encourage their daughter or son to pick up this hobby? No. And this is what they're doing. This is why Magic: The Gathering is dying because you have people who have no who gives no f's about the younger generation of Magic players, judges. I've said that a million times. I don't need to say it anymore. They disgust me. Like judges disgust me because a lot of them let the power get to them and then they abuse it. Store owners, this stuff you do not. And one of my biggest criticisms on Sleeve Media was it does, it's bad. And they criticized him for that. Now they're saying the keywords they're after, the keyword they're after is magic is a lot like blank. And because this is trending, because there's so many retweets, for the next year, next five, next 10 years, when any parent or child searches that, magic is a lot like poker, magic is a lot like bridge, magic a lot like chess. No, they're not gonna get those because there's no one publishing those articles. They're gonna get magic is a lot like sex. And if you are a female magic player, you're in danger. Anyway. Bye, guys.